Welcome to another episode of The Oracles. As you would expect, I'm with the most amazing co-host, the superstar Oracle Z Mazibugo. Today, we are joined by one of the most amazing and incredibly blessed worshippers in South Africa. She was born in Richards Bay, KZN. She's worked with the absolute best in the essay gospel scene, having been part of church celebration and being mentored by the incredible Bishop Benjamin Dube. She currently has two EPs to her name and one amazing album. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from Mount Zion today, the oracles have the honor of presenting to you this amazing songwriter and worshiper whose voice brings us to worship under open heavens. The wonderful and amazing Tulisi <laughs> Yeah, wow. <laughs> 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 how are you doing? I'm great, thanks. And how are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm Z. Z, how are you? I'm not How are you? I'm good. I love that. Uh, by the way, I felt like only there for a minute. Like, oh. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Um, Nicole, uh, just getting into the first question. Um, for the very few who don't know you by now, please tell us who Nicole Mwango is. Um, <laughs> that's a tricky question. Nicole <laughs> um, Mwango is originally from Richards Bay, from a small family and a very small town in Atal. Um, born and raised like Wonkum Tuana. Uh, I'm a mother uh, of a teenager. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just a simple girl, man. Nicole Mwango yeah. is just a simple girl. And honestly, would, um, it's my aim and uh, that people should always, always relate with the call. So call is just a simple girl from an Atali, a, a, a Richard's Bay. All right. Um, yeah, man, that, people relate with that a lot, actually. And you say yeah. you're a simple girl, now. I see that you, you start singing since um, Sunday school and you know, you know of a few other singers who are doing secular, who started in church, why do you stick with um, gospel and not switch to r and Because you have a voice for that as well. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is my belief. Um, and this is what I've experienced. So that whenever you wake me up, so I'm not saying about love, I'm not showing I, but I am just saying, and 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 I just feel like I I had no choice. It's one of those things where you just realize, Guti, honestly, it didn't choose me. I I I because if you can wake me up now and say, you still want to do what you're doing, I'm like, mm, well, I don't think I even qualify. I don't even think I have the talent for it. But Honestly, I just feel like gospel chose me. And honestly, because of my background, the only thing I know is that Jesus is enough. Yeah. Anything else, you fall under that. But the first thing is Jesus is enough. And that's the only thing I can make. I can tell you now boldly. So, hey, ogunye, <laughs> ogunye. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, um, we, we see a, a lot of famous people, especially artists, um, they go through quite a lot. And we know that fame comes with a lot of things. And we've seen gospel artists um, are failing prey to it. Um, how do you maintain your salvation and the covenant that you've made with God? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yay. Fame, uh, fame comes with a lot of things. You are, yo, guys. And you know, sometimes I wish I can have time and just address that. Mm -hmm. I, they used to say, Inzela, Pumelele is such a lonely journey. And it's yeah. true, you know, it's true. Sometimes you feel like you, you, you don't have friends who get where you are right now, mm -hmm. let alone being Umtalagankulunkulge. Sometimes you just feel like no one understands you. Good. Now you cannot joke about the jokes that I used to do before I was deep. You understand? Yeah. Now I have to be careful. But yeah. I suga now people are think, oh, now you're saying like that. You know, yeah. but one of the things that I have that has really kept me 
and the covenant, surrounding yourself with good people, people who understand the journey. Most of all, people who will love you for who you are, not what you do. Because yeah. when you have people about tender for who you are, they're able to say to you, right now you are wrong. Mm. Right now you are not an artist, you are a child. Mm. Right now you are not all in jail. You are a servant and we need you to serve you. I, I, I still serve at my church. Tell you not, kid you not, those are the things that keeps me going and keeps me grounded mm. because we am doing our muntos or lalela man. We need you at church by seven. Mm. We need yeah. because now we are Zazuguti. The journey of salvation, you can never do it alone. You need help. You need Abantabazok Bambang is anti. So Nakuba famous, I guess, famous well. You it's your job, it's your responsibility to have to surround yourself with people Abazok Tanda for who you are and not what you do. If you have those around you, they'll be easy for them to say, Askaza Sigborn is on doing what's going on. Or we're we hearing this, this, that about you. What's going on? You you just need that. And people who would just genuinely pray for you and just love you for who you are. Mm. But it's your responsibility to surround yourself with those people. Mm, true. And that makes a lot of sense because so many people um, suffer when they grow up. You know, so many things start yeah. happening. And now because they don't have a great or good support structure, everything starts crumbling. And a lot of things start happening and they start losing themselves in the process. Yeah. It's easy to lose yourself in the process. I'm not going to lie. But I always encourage people to just surround yourself with good people. You know, yeah. if for me, it's church. At church, I mm. still serve. My bet we're wearing a uniform today. Funny enough, yesterday I was leading worship. uniform. I'm still a child at church. And that's where I get groomed. That's where I become a child in court. Okay, all. But when someone says, no, 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 but you're not doing that at all. In Kumbu, it's okay. You know, so you need that. You need that. Sure. Okay, while we're still on church now and God and salvation, do you remember when you actively made the choice and decided to give your life completely to Christ? Hey, yeah, so good thing. Shaling Kavang and Ali Lulang, good gashe gashe. When was the day it? Somebody I can pray to. I was thinking about that yesterday because Nankulele Sontuen, so you know, you, 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 you don't really. Personally, I don't really have ilanga la engati kona. Yeah. But I remember because yeah, one of my colleagues on doing you, you, you. But I remember the day I started feeling the presence of the Lord in Pilonyam and realizing that God is for me. God loves me unconditionally, which I think that was the day. I think I wanna because there was the turnaround moment for me. Actually, that's how uh, Jesus is enough came about when mm -hmm. I was pregnant. I, remember, I'm from I'm from a, a church background, so I was pregnant, a young teenager. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking, yeah, I deserve to be punished, and I did. I was punished by Abazalwa. You know, you know, you know. Yeah. But funny enough, when my dad came home, um, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the firstborn at home. It's girls alone. I'm loved by my parents, purely so, you know. But that day I thought, this man is going to reject me. This man mm -hmm. is going to turn his back on me. He would, like, you know what my dad did? He sat in my bedroom and he looked at me. After my mom and I so tall, I was like, he looked at me and wakala. And then he didn't say anything. He just came to me and said, you are my princess and I love you. You know, that was the mm. turnaround moment for me. That was when I realized with Unkul Unkulu's tanda ganji. Unkul Unkulu, nothing we will do or or or, 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 or that will change his mind. His mind is made up. He loves us unconditionally. So I think, and I know that my turnaround moment and the relationship with God to understand God better and his love and receive his love and walk in his love was that mo that turnaround moment where now my album, the theme of my album came about Jesus is enough. Mm -hmm. yeah, I really love how you could relate it to like your personal life like that because you know, I always see a lot of people celebrating anniversaries of when they accepted Christ of their Lord and Savior and I'm like, 
So I'm the only weird one here because I can't, I can't really pinpoint the day, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, someone who relates. No, you and personally, I always feel like I receive Christ every day, man. So exactly. I, 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 <laughs> uh, Tony, to anyone struggling with their faith and salvation, what what would you like to say to them? I don't know if it's gonna make sense, but these past three weeks, man, I've been really just in a bubble of because I think I I not with faith or anything, but you know we all go through that season where you're like, hey, Angzaz no man ya banda or ya shisa right now, you know? Yeah. And sometimes it's not because when this son you've committed any sin. It's just the walk in the angel I call. And I've realized that at some point you need to be honest with yourself just to say, Lord, I am tired. God yeah. is our friend. God, we as we learn an You understand? So yeah. all we need to do, you just and he has given us umoyo ingwele to help us, to comfort us, to, and, and for me, I always say for him to leave umoyo ingwele to be our friend is because he wants umoyo ingwele a relate no call, lingenze lukola yon. So I'm figuring it, you know what, God, I'm just tired. I can't even pray right now. You understand? He understands that. The best thing you can do as tired, as weary as you are, is to run to God and tell him exactly how you feel. I've realized that at some point I cannot help you. No one can help you, but for you to realize that God has given you a helper and that helper wants you to talk to him and have a conversation with him and say, like, I'm just tired. I'm not feeling, you know? So I, 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 I don't have any wise words for you, just, but to remind you that you have a helper and that is suitable helper. So that suitable helper needs you to speak the honest truth to just to say, and be yourself. Just to say, right now, I am tired. Give me strength. That's all I can say. Because the truth is, we all go through that, that phase. Yeah, and, and that, that's very true. Pain. Yeah, especially the blame part, because some, so many people feel guilty when they don't pray. But at times, you, you really can't bring yourself to pray. Like, I'm calling, there's nothing happening. Thank you. Like, and you know, the funny thing is, yesterday I was sharing with some ladies that, and Utima Sakpeli Lama Gama Ag, Holy Spirit will, will help you what to pray about. So sometimes you just have to say, God, I don't know what to say, actually. Maybe you give me words to, to, to say, what to yeah. say. And sometimes we are scared of really being ourselves to say, Lord, hey, yeah. Okay. Yeah, one. Yeah. 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 No, I, I hear that. So now coming to your music, now saying that you speak about more and more like this, what is your writing for, like your writing process like you getting into studio, making the music? How are you wired when you're in that space? Mentally, <laughs> where are you? Yeah, you know, I, I, I have a conversation with him. It's just like that. Sometimes, let me tell you, sometimes I have lyrics before the melody. You understand? So I yeah. have words. I, I have a book where I just write how God, this is how I'm feeling. Oh, thank you. Like, like, um, you know, there's a song that I've recently wrote. It's a thank you for, uh, for keeping up with me. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for just understanding this girl. I have nothing. I just felt like writing. Thank you for understanding me, God. Thank you for just knowing that you get me. I want to go biblical. But it's yeah. my language. It's how I want to say, yeah. Father, hey, Joy, you get me. Thank you. That's how I write my songs. I just want an honest conversation. Then we can, because sometimes, we, we, you know, we, we know the Bible and say, we know, we know what's the right things to say. But I believe in the honest conversation. There's nothing wrong with however people write their songs. But I just believe personally in honest conversations because I always say I want that one person I own a last Bible that well to relate mm -hmm. to know that God is for you God God loves you where you are you know so that's how I write my songs honestly it's just a conversation between me and God and that yeah and you know um, still audio music um, how does it make you feel when you maybe visit a church or you see videos uh, of people in church and they're worshiping using some of the music that you've written? <laughs> yeah. 
to be honest with you, I think it's one of those things that I'll never get used to, your mm-hmm. Nayabo, to be honest with you, because pff, it's just one of those things that's not leg. And it's humbling, man, just to know that people are appreciating your work. People are, yeah, man, the love is too much. I'm not going to lie. And I always, yeah, yeah. wow, you know, it's just an honor for me to be a vessel. Yeah. Mm. And while on the music now and seeing how people do the music, I we understand it's gospel and everything, but how would you describe your particular sound? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly, I, maybe describe it for me when I when I when I was calling. <laughs> I don't know. At most, I'll describe it for me. Thing is, I'm I'm a very emotional being. As, as hardcore as I'm, at, but my exterior is very hardcore. I'm like, also I, very I, emotional. <laughs> you know? So literally, I feel like I'm just in another in another space. I, I feel like I'm not here. You know, when a person zones out. Mm. Like literally, I feel like I'm I'm not, I'm not here anymore. You could be talking to me, I, I could be looking at you, but what I'm listening to right now has transcended me into another space that I can't even describe myself. You know. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, for, for I, I, I. Yeah, what's that? No, no, no. You can. You. No. Can, I. I. I get you. You know. That's why maybe I. I cannot even also describe my kind of music because. I, I sometimes live a stage in Ami. But my, my only aim is when I stand in front of people, I want to be honest. Yeah. If I feel like saying a stage, God, I'm failing. I want to feel like that because at that mm-hmm. time, the Lord wants me to say that for someone else. You know? Yes. So it, it, I, I can't even describe my own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, your music is, is perfect for, especially when it's time for prayer. Um, we usually have the um, uh, cell groups on, on Tuesdays. And what, mm. what I usually do, because I'm responsible for, for the music that, that plays in the background, what I usually do is uh, I, I go onto, onto your page on, on, the, on my music streaming platform and I just uh, use the radio for that. Um, I turn on the create the radio sta- uh, the, the radio playlist, and we just use it for uh, for praying, and it's and it's perfect, and it works very well because it also builds the atmosphere um, perfectly for for praying. Yeah, thank yeah. you. The other thing I'm really intentional about is just healing. You know, yeah. um, healing, man. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like we go through so much, especially uh, young black women, single mothers, Christians, you know, and we are scared of really voicing out because we are channeled with umzala and you should be strong, man. And Masabetsu Zolula, you don't get a chance to sit down and talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So when I talk to God, I'm being myself. And I I I, I don't know if you get, but I, I really, and that's my passion to just, heal people and just realize to make you realize that you are not alone we get it sometimes mm-hmm. we've got it all figured out but i want even in our, our walk of salvation sometimes i want to say we we don't we will get sense tomorrow well if one sees when no one will because okay. i i need you joe I'm, I'm still a woman i'm still a single mom i'm still you know young i need you and mm-hmm. i want everyone to relate with that beauty don't condemn yourself. We go mm-hmm. through whatever that you are going through. So I lock on it's a very welcome music. So I also think healing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it works. It works very well. Um, no, Goli, yeah, yeah. After working with Joe Celebration for about 10 years, you released your first solo ah! album in 2020. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Was it seven years? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But but um, after uh, seven years of working with Joe Celebration and then releasing mm. your solo album, what was that like for you uh, going solo? Yo, look, man. To be honest with you, I think I and 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 this is the good or bad thing. I I knew maybe two years before when she joined Celebration, Gucci, I'm gonna go solo now. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a it, like a smoothly transaction for me, Shane, to be honest with you, because I've planned, I'm an overthinker. So, you know, an overthinker plans prior. Mm-hmm. But we're still here naturally. Yeah. So I'm like that, you know, I always live to just only come back. You are here now. So when two years before, I already knew it's okay. I'm going to leave and this is how I want to leave and this is what I'm going to do. And yes, man, changes were there based on now. You know, Dress is a big platform and big production. So mm-hmm. things had to... And and one of my biggest worries was from or to end up forgetting what I want to say now because they're thinking of it, Joyas. Can they just get where Oli is now and what Oli wants to do. Mm-hmm. That was my only, only worry. And God has been good. People grabbed my heart. And mm-hmm. yeah, that, I think that was my only, only worry, to be honest with you. And yeah. while we're still on that, and you going solo and everything, and people grabbing it the way you wanted them to see you. The other artists in the in the same um, genre that you're in now, I, I believe that they're also... Um, appreciated it the same way that most of the support yeah. So what I want to find out now, going forward, because you are still making music, you are still writing every day, locally or internationally, but I prefer to start locally first. Who would you still like to work with? Locally. Yeah. Hmm. I'm big on local music, sorry. That's why I'm going to start here first. And you know, it's not even a gospel group that I would love to work with. Do you know them? Do you know these guys? I don't know their name, but Ushun Um man, I've forgotten their name, but they're not gospel singers. But I followed their story. There's two guys from from in a dial, man. I've forgotten their name. Uh, but man, <sighs> yes, But it's those two guys, man. Um, I think. They're not about 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 tooling as gospel, but mm-hmm. I've just been following them. And for me, good news is not only what you say, but it's how you walk. Mm-hmm. Good news, it's not only what you what we can see in a mouse chain, but it's how when someone comes closer to you, are we feeling the love? Are we feeling the warmth? Mm-hmm. And I've been following them, how they just proudly talk about their journey and I think I would love to work with them. And because where I, I want to go, I want to attract even unbelievers to just know that mm. you don't call a boring. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to to microphone in Ukoli. With glory mm. to God. But there's a song that says, and personally, that's why I feel like I would love to work with those guys because I love how they just acknowledge God in their journey, Abazal Babo, and all and all and all. Yet they don't sing gospel. Is it by any chance Black Diamond? Yes! Black Diamond. Yes. <laughs> so I'm thinking about it. And they also have a song, I think, with Udu in Kokstad. Udu, yes. No, yeah. I, I love them. I love, I love young people who are just so hard workers and not afraid mm-hmm. of where they're coming from. You know, when you sing, I can tell good when I said Deben. I love that. I, I love that. You can just tell good love about Sem Luas or Rigupi. But man, they are hitting the waves. And I just personally love that. No man I have, but people should know that no 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 I'm was in and uh, you know so I just love that about them. And now internationally? Internationally. internationally. I've always been a fan of Yolanda Adams by the way. Mm. I've always been a fan of Yolanda Adams and I'm still the fan. So I would love, I would love, I would love to work with that woman. You know, even not working, but just to sit down with with, with her, man, and, and, and have some conversations. You know, I, I have so much respect for that woman. Yeah. She's one, she's one of the people that has from. played a big role in my life in just, you know, Boldly being you, whether mm. you fit in or you don't fit in, just be you, you know. And yeah, yeah, and I, and I can see how that could work. It, it would actually work yeah. very well. The that collaboration, 
That's what I'm saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. I'm saying. <laughs> 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 no, we'll pray about it. We'll pray about it. It'll, it will definitely happen. Yeah, no, man. Yeah. I, I adore that woman. Mm. Yeah. And you know, I want us to, to go back uh, just a little bit to your celebration. Um, can you tell us what the experience was like being part of such a huge um, institution? And such, uh, and it's one of the, the longest running gospel groups in the country. Yeah. Uh, uh, how was that experience like? Mm. It was a great experience. If Ananas is calling, who is calling? If you just a class in different characters, different personality. Mm. Yeah. Um, but you end up finding yourself with okay. You end up finding now with okay. I think saying as tall I'm from a, a very small family. It's me and my sister, my dad, and my mom and my son at yeah. home. So Mang Fiara Joy has yo different mm. personalities everyone is loud and i'm like yo you know what i mean but um, it was a great great opportunity and uh, to even learn myself to even learn what's okay Koli, in lim, lim, who has so much to say so much no some are very gifted honestly gifted but understand that you also here to find yourself you also hear you have a voice. You also hear you are important. You also hear because you needed to be here. And that has taught me even life outside, even in the industry now, I am not here to fight or compete, but I'm here to just know who only has a space side. So Joyce has taught me that to just, no man, but each and everyone has a special gift. Each and everyone has a special thing, has special grace that again. I have gained sisters, I have gained mm. brothers, I have gained, you know, some of them are not that musical, but they are good in other things. And I God has taught me to also just have an eye for those things. It doesn't mean you only recognize someone because she or he is good. But yeah. there are other things that is as 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 and as 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 you when so I Joyce has really taught me all those things to just also just be able to clean up and do with our different personalities and our different characters, different backgrounds, and acknowledge that. But we are all we are all here for one purpose, you know. And yeah, uh, I've learned so much, even like mm. so much, even about myself, Shane. You know. Um, yeah, I've learned so much. And I would encourage, yeah, not everyone, but I, I would, there are times where I just feel any artist, I wish you can go to a group like Joy Celebration so that you can, mm. it teaches you confidence, Wanji, to just mm. know that no more than I'm 100, but God has gifted you with what he has gifted you and it's yours. Yeah. Be truthful to it, you know. So Joyce has taught me, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. We love it. We love it. <laughs> Like they mentioned, we really appreciate it because also I think it teaches you also how to lead when it comes to that. Because now when you're performing and you are standing there in front and you have um backing vocalists, you, you guys already know how to navigate that entire setting. And I feel yeah. like you learn to from the materials and everything. So I feel like it helps you advance with your career. Yeah, yeah, definitely it does. It does. It helps you in a lot of ways. And sometimes you you only get it masupumil. Oh, yeah, I understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I, I really, really does help. It helped me. And it's a lot, even still with the smooth noise and all of them. Like, a lot of people don't go back, and some don't even realize that these people were there. And they're chilling one day, like, actually, let me just read back about this person. Like, yeah, that's where I know you from. So, a lot of you guys actually came from. Joyous, hospital yeah. place, and now everybody's yeah, still doing amazing in their own right. Yeah, thank you, though. All right. And Tony, I have uh, just one last question for you. Um, when you're alone with the Holy Spirit and you're praying and bringing your plans and desires to Him, where do you see yourself five years from today? <laughs> um, um, like I said, one thing that I'm really passionate about is just healing, you know, Mm. making people realize that you don't have to think you are alone. So that's one thing I am 
discussing with the Holy Spirit right now. I have so many, many plans and dreams, you know, but especially healing besides yeah. other things that I do outside music. But um, like I said, I'm a, I've been a single mom at a very young age. Those are the things I would really love to be able to Mm. again you are not alone i've been there you know um still impacting the world still changing the world and still and i hope wherever god places me corner i am still a relatable person someone yeah. is able to see me a car wash and say hi Toli, how are you and i say hi how are you i'm good how are you doing like mm. you know I have so much that I'm, I'm I'm really, really planning. And and I know God has never, if there's one thing I'm so sure about, God has never failed yeah. me. Yeah. But one of the things we also forget when we pray about these things is that also keep me grounded, God. Keep me mm. grounded. Mm. Because, you know, so in five years, I'm still in that prayer. But in all that I'm planning, but keep me grounded. Keep me being that child who is on doing and say, sorry, I'm late. Yeah. Mm. You know, so uh, there's a verse that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these other mm. things shall be added. Look, yeah. already God is doing great things for me outside music. My things are, you know, but for my my biggest priority is just may I just be the same relatable calling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love that. And you know, it's actually a, a, a more of a confirmation because I asked someone, um, mm. I actually said something uh, similar to, to someone um, over the past weekend, which is, you know, I, I really hope that on my journey, um, I really stay grounded. I don't want to be, yeah. uh, to be seen as this big, I don't want to see myself as this person who's, yeah, who's bigger yeah. than, than everybody else. And their yeah. response was, as long as you stay grounded in Christ, as long as you remain in Christ, that will never be a, a, an issue. And, you know, yeah, uh, yeah it's just, just to confirm what, what, what you just said. Because if you remain in Christ and remain in the journey yeah. that has placed you right. on, it, it will never be, be an issue for you. Definitely. And, and just to understand that God can use anyone else. Yeah. 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 So yeah. for him to choose to use you, it's, it's, it's a something of no I training I because I can decide to get someone else. Yeah. So for me, it's just that good God in everything because I know he has greater plans for me. But yes. in all, keep me grounded, man. Keep me yeah. grounded. That's all I want. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's, it's been a wonderful time. You're almost out of time. Um, I don't yes. know, Z, do, you, do you have anything, anything else that you want to ask? It's not much, not a lot. I just want to say um, thank you Nat, for, yes, to all your music is nice. All your songs are nice. And <laughs> I just want to say thank you for your rendition of Mkling Wam. That song has uh... out of the, the pit. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You know, when you listen to a song, like, yeah, this song is speaking to me. And now you listen to it again, like, I can actually listen to it without crying anymore. Yeah. And that's when you know why you do it. Because initially, you couldn't finish the song without crying. And that for me, like, you know, when you have, you're obsessing over a song that you just hear on YouTube over and over again, that's the one song I'll forever be grateful for. It. I just want to say thank you for that rendition of that song. Thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah. now I'm going to cry. It's say I'm emotional. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. There's something that you just said, Uguti, you listen to it until Ungasakal. Yeah, and you now from a grateful place. Good to thank you for being playing you. Um, wow, thank you, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, uh, Tolly, thank you very much. I don't know, uh, maybe 30 seconds. Is, is there anything uh, else you want uh, you want to say? Um, to everyone, um, um, sorry, 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 to everyone. Oh. Um, we overthink, we, we want to reflect. Sometimes we feel sometimes we're proud of ourselves. Sometimes, you know, you know, you know. But yeah. I just want to encourage everyone to just know that, man, God is for us, you know, yeah. and He is just for us. May we just walk in His love 
and understand that the men upstairs is just for us. You know, yeah. there's yeah. nothing. And there's one thing looking Gusa lately, Guti, he has given you and I a suitable helper. Yeah. You know, I, like he is for us, man. Um, yeah. We are loved unconditionally. One thing I always say, thank you, God, and not to be tried to be someone else, but and yeah, yeah we are loved. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you very have, much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Time. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the Oracles. Uh, we'll be back again next week. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Uh, Bye, Tony. Thank you. <laughs>